Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed another important lecture in coordination chemistry. So especially we have discussed about a reaction mechanism. So in that uh, acid hydrolysis, our topic to, uh, is uh, acid hydrolysis. Okay, so acid hydrolysis is the evidence for the uh, octahedral substitution reactions which follows the dissociative mechanism. So which is the one of the evidence for the dissociative mechanism. So simplest uh, uh, acid hydrolysis definition is now here ML5 like X here it is the leaving group which is replaced by the water ligand which is replaced by the water ligand in presence of acid content either uh, like a general uh, mineral acids or uh, like Lewis acids H AG plus uh, HG plus 2 or uh, ABF3 such type of Lewis acids now here we will get the ML5 H2O here plus N now here N plus 1 with x minus why because here the loss of x minus n if x minus is lost then here one positive charge present over there then already it is n n plus one is positive charge okay so this is the general representation of the acid hydrolysis reaction okay acid hydrolysis reaction here metal halogen metal leaving group it is not a halogen sometimes it not it may it not may be halogen also participated so it is a leaving group so here water is entering a group Okay, now the medium is like a acidic medium. So in acidic medium, so water is replaced by the one of the octahedral, uh, one of the coordinate site of the octahedral complex through the like a substitution mechanism. Now we will get the ML5 H2O N N plus one. ML5 H2O N acid hydrolysis reaction here metal halogen bond is break then so that bond is filled with water ligand water ligand so when it will happen when it it will happen generally metal like a, this group is a leaving group so metal leaving group having the at least one lone pair of electron it is minimum condition for the acid hydrolysis why because here h plus or like a lewis acids if you having the vacant orbital that uh, that vacant orbital will obstructed will obstructed by the lone pairs of a leaving group then it becomes metal uh, like a leaving group hydrogen bond metal leaving group hydrogen bond if such type of a bond is created then metal halogen bond length is more metal halogen bond length is more if metal halogen sorry metal leaving group not halogen metal leaving group bond length is more if bond length is more then bond strength is less okay is it right bond length is more if bond length is more bond strength is less that means it is readily breaks if bond strength is less then it ready to breaks ready to breaks if bond is break what will happen so here it creates the vacant site that vacant site will filled by the aqueous ligand so this is the minimum criteria for acid hydrolysis okay so now here hello uh, like leaving group uh, it must and should it having the lone pair of electron now let us discuss some of the uh, leaving groups now here it may be possible NO3 minus like uh, iodine minus like uh, Br minus Cl minus F minus NCS minus uh, maybe it, 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 it may be like a yeah, methyl COO minus ammonia such type of ligands sometimes uh, ammonia is not participated okay so these are the ligands uh, which are uh, involved in the like uh, acid hydrolysis acid hydrolysis the only one thing is metal halogen bond is breaked so if metal halogen bond uh, when it is break uh, metal halogen bond length is more then bond strength is uh, decreases if bond strength decreases then it ready to breaks so after breaking of metal leaving a group then what ligand is entered okay this is the simple phenomenon which is uh, observed in the uh, acid hydrolysis now let us discuss uh, kinetic study of uh, acid hydrolysis kinetic study of acid hydrolysis so according to the kinetic studies according to the kinetic studies uh, generally cobalt nh3 five times uh, like a cl here plus two which is a uh, replaced by the aqueous ligand in presence of uh, like a mineral acids now we will get the cobalt nh3 
five times here water ligand here only one water ligand plus two becomes a plus three if plus three is there then it becomes a plus four if plus one is there it becomes a plus one or plus two okay now here x minus that means the cl minus is eliminated cl minus is eliminated here according to the kinetic studies now the rate of reaction which is directly depends upon the concentration of uh, reactant only concentration of reactant only it does not depends on the water content it does not depends on the water content okay so that means here it is only first order kinetics it is it only first order kinetics but uh, originally kinetic studies cannot gives the cannot gives the information about uh, acid hydrolysis whether it is follows either sn1 mechanism or SN2 mechanism. It doesn't give the information about uh, either SN1 mechanism or SN2 mechanism. Sometimes uh, either it is first, first order reaction or second order reaction. Okay. So kinetic studies cannot give the correct information regarding to the acid hydrolysis. But uh, some of the evidences will give the information about uh, acid hydrolysis. It proceeds through the dissociative mechanism. Okay. Acid hydrolysis will proceed through the dissociative mechanism. So no, those, those evidences for the acid hydrolysis dissociative mechanism. So first one is a metal ligand bond strength. That is nothing but a leaving group capacity. Leaving group capacity. Now the second factor is a charge on the complex. Charge on the complex. Now the third factor is an inductive effect inductive effect now the fourth one is like a solvent effect or chelation solvent effect or chelation now the fifth one is a steric effect okay these five factors which gives the information so your acid hydrolysis will follows the sn1 sorry dissociative mechanism okay so uh, with the help of these five uh, factors we will confirm the acid hydrolysis will proceed through the dissociative mechanism we know that if it, it proceeds through the dissociative mechanism we know that uh, it, it follows the sn1 mechanism and it it it, uh, it follows the first order kinetics okay now here the metal leaving group bond breaking is rate determined step that is a slow step okay we, we are discussed those things on our dissociative mechanism class okay now let us discuss uh, these five factors how it how it tells so acid hydrolysis will follow the dissociative mechanism Now the first factor, metal ligand bond strength, okay, which is nothing but uh, which is also uh, defined as a like a leaving group capacity, leaving group uh, capacity. Okay, so I have the uh, like two types of bonds. Now here among these two, so metal X bond is a more strengthened bond strength is more bond strength is more. Now here bond strength is less. Okay, if bond strength is more, that cannot uh, dissociate it very easier. Okay, so it cannot dissociate it much more easier. That's why here, slower rate. Slower rate towards uh, acid hydrolysis. Here, AH means acid hydrolysis. If bond strength is less, that means uh, it, it ready to break. Uh, then it is a uh, more rate. That means higher the rate towards uh, towards acid hydrolysis this is the simple thing okay now so these metal metal uh, leaving group bond strength uh, will calculated by the like a uh, kind uh, like kinetic terms and the thermodynamic terms generally arrhenius factor so a uh, ln k is equal to ln a minus ea by rt which is came from the arrhenius equation k is equal to a into e power minus ea by rt okay so thermodynamic term ln k is equal to delta h by rt here it is minus plus delta s by r okay so here it is the thermodynamic term so now here it is the kinetic terms why because kinetic terms will depends on the activation energy thermodynamic terms will depends on the like enthalpy here it is thermodynamic terms now here it is kinetic terms so now let us plot the graph between uh, kinetic as well as the thermodynamic uh, equilibrium constants now we will we'll give the some of the some of the ligands some of the leaving group ligands will show their uh, reactivity character towards the acid hydrolysis now here so the plot uh, uh, graph plotted between the log ka versus log k 
so here it is thermodynamic time here it is kinetic term now here it may be graphs of 4 5 6 7 8 9 like and so on now here it may be minus 1 now here the minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so this is the terms this is the terms okay now when we plot the graph uh, over the log k a versus log k we will get the molecules like this now here no3 minus iodine minus br minus like a chlorine minus fluorine minus like a here ncs minus okay such type of uh, graph we observe that means uh, here it it, it is uh, readily uh, it readily replaces the uh, which is readily replaced by the water ligand now here iodine minus are readily replaces now here with the help of these graph generally we observe the metal to fluorine metal to chlorine metal to bromine metal to iodine okay whenever top to bottom size of the halogens increases that means uh, here metal to bond length increases now here metal metal to leaving group bond length is more okay so if bond length is more now here bond strength is less bond strength is less if bond strength is less then ready to react with uh, ready towards uh, acid hydrolysis that means more rapid towards the acid hydrolysis so iodine is the more more uh, effective towards the acid hydrolysis when compared to the remaining ones again bromine is more reactive when compared to the chlorine and fluorine like this now we will get the similar manner only okay so this is the information regarding to the metal ligand bond strength okay now here no3 minus greater than iodine minus greater than bromine minus greater than chlorine minus greater than f minus greater than ncs minus okay some of the linear free energy graph will use the again uh, much more information after the ncs minus now sometimes uh, like a uh, uh, nh3 and sometimes uh, like a uh, uh, coo methyl over here like nh3 as well as uh, oh minus oh minus this is the some of the linear free energy graph okay sometimes may be asked uh, different uh, ligands which one readily follows the like uh, acid hydrolysis which one ready to gives the acid hydrolysis reaction okay so here uh, metal ligand bond strength is more that means uh, here metal ligand bond strength is less in case of uh, hydrolysis reaction that means uh, here metal halogen bond is dissociated is it right or wrong okay if metal leaving group bond is dissociated definitely it follows the dissociative mechanism this is the proof regarding to the acid hydrolysis it follows the dissociative mechanism so this is the first proof now let us go through the second one oh, the second one is charge on the complex charge on the complex so if charge on the complex now let us discuss cobalt nh3 5 times cl here it is plus 2 okay cobalt nh3 5 times cl2 here it is plus 1 okay now here it is replaced by the water ligand now here it gives cobalt nh3 5 times oh2 okay here plus 2 becomes plus 3 okay we know that here plus 2 becomes plus 3 here plus 1 becomes plus 2 which is which is affected by the like one of the negative charged ligand is leaved that means it is eliminated now here cobalt nh3 4 times cl again oh2 oh2 here it is plus 2 okay now here the rate constants here it 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 6 now here it rate constant is 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 3 that means maybe 1.8 around okay so here 10 to the power minus 3 means here it is a more more like a acid hydrolysis constant here it is more acid hydrolysis constant okay if it is more hydrolysis then it is a less hydrolysis constant okay now here ka is less here ka is more so if ka is more that means here ready to react towards the acid hydrolysis okay now here uh, that complex which readily ready to reacts with uh, or ready to tolerate the acid hydrolysis ready to tolerate the acid hydrolysis now here more reactive having the less charge here only plus one charge now less reactive having the more charge okay so if charge on the complex increases if charge on the complex increases uh, reactivity rate of reactivity towards acid hydrolysis decreases 
ओके इज इट राइट और रॉन्ग इफ चार्ज इंक्रीजेस रेट ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी डिक्रीजेस इफ चार्ज डिक्रीजेस रेट ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी इंक्रीजेस ओके नाउ आई गिव द वन वन ऑफ द क्लियर कट पॉइंट चार्ज ऑन द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंक्रीजेस ओके रेट ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी टुवर्ड्स एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस इंक्रीजेस सॉरी हियर एसिड हाइड्रोलिसिस डिक्रीजेस वाइस वर्सा it is clear okay so when if uh, rate constant is more then it readily creates the bonds okay now here rate constant here so th this this is a less hydrolysis that means uh, here it requires more and more bond energy that's why here also it follows the dissociative mechanism okay these two rate constant will gives the information about uh, here it follows the dissociative mechanism now let us go through the third one now let us discuss the third factor which is nothing but a presence of inductive effect inductive effect now here so now let us discuss heat is metal halogen ligand metal leaving group ligand not the halogen okay so here this first first complex having the like a uh, so many number of plus i groups so many number of plus i group now in presence of plus i groups metal leaving group bond length is a uh, decreases metal halogen bond length or bond, sorry not the bond length bond strength decreases due to the presence of a plus i groups over the uh, adjacent uh, adjacent ligand uh, ligand atom okay now here the presence of a plus i groups uh, here metal leaving group uh, bond length is more than bond length is more bond strength is less so if bond strength is less uh, ready to react okay more react towards uh, acid hydrolysis more reactive towards acid hydrolysis okay now in case of a free complex here there is no plus i effect here there is no plus i effect now what will happen here a metal halogen having the more bond strength more bond strength is more if bond strength is more it lesser reactive towards the acid hydrolysis lesser reactive towards the Yeah, see in hydrolysis. Okay, so this this is clearly in uh, clearly explains that. So if metal halogen it is breaked, that means it follows the dissociative mechanism. It follows the dissociative mechanism. Finally, I give the one clear cut point in presence of plus I groups. So acid hydrolysis uh, more and more. Now I give the one sentence. No doubt, no doubt. So presence of plus I plus I groups. okay presence of plus i groups the reactivity towards acid hydrolysis is more and more okay now let us go through the fourth one okay now here the fourth one is uh, like a solvent effect which is also called as a now the fourth one is solvent effect which is also called as a chelation which is also called as a chelation now let us take the cobalt nh3 five times cl here plus 2 okay so whenever in the presence of cobalt acidic medium acidic hydrolysis here it gives the corresponding intermediate is pentagonal like a penta uh, ligand that means a uh, uh, pentadentate it's not pentadentate coordination number 5 containing intermediate now here plus 3 so whenever water ligand which is replaced by the vacant site cobalt nh3 five times uh, water here plus 3 remains okay this is the first complex now let us go through the second complex here cobalt ethylene ethylene diamine two times nh3 like here cl plus 2 now here one of the ligand one of the uh, ligand will uh, breakage takes place now here metal cobalt ethylene diamine two times nh3 here it is a plus 3 complexes whenever in the presence of water here it is a like a replaced by the vacant site cobalt ethylene diamine two times nh3 water nh3 water so now here two types of complexes are present okay whenever uh, the ligand which is uh, in the presence of acids in the presence of acid the complex will gives the plus 5 coordinated intermediate here also the complex will gives the plus 5 coordinated intermediate we know that uh, hydration energy is inversely proportional to the size of ion i is the size of cation okay hydration energy is inversely proportional to the size of cation now in case of size of cation that means lesser size of the cation more hydration energy okay so higher size of the cation lesser energy lesser hydration energy now here cobalt having the simple ligands simple uh, like ammonia ligands now in case uh, here it is uh, like um, chelating ligands now here it is it is chelating ligands so chelating ligands means more size 
okay simple ligands means lesser size okay now here it is a lesser size if lesser size of the complex is heavily hydrated heavily hydrated that means uh, more hydrated that means uh, more hydrated so higher size more size is uh, less hydrated more size less hydrated the final conclusion is okay so a complex which gives the less size of intermediate uh, that is more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis okay now let us take in first and second complex which gives the lesser size lesser size intermediate so first one absolutely first one gives the lesser size intermediate that's why so first complex which is ready to react with a uh, like a uh, ready to react to towards the acid hydrolysis okay now in other words in other words we, we would say like this now here ethylene diamond that means here the chelation complex due to the chelation here it is a more size due to the chelation so more size of the intermediate uh, cannot hydrated much more okay so now here lessly hydrated due to the less hydration now the acid hydrolysis reaction is lesser okay so the final thing is uh, like a lesser size of intermediate complex will more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis that is another words uh, normal complex uh, other than the chelated complex uh, will gives the more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis okay now the final one is uh, fine now the final one is fifth one steric crowding steric crowding so now let us take the like four types of examples now here uh, uh, ethylene diamine CLCL it is the trans complex now the second one is the same type of ligands N N N N here also ethylene diamine CLCL now the third similar ligand okay N N N N N here also CLCL okay so in these three complexes we have the like a similar similar complexes not the similar all are same okay now in the first complex there is no substitution now let us take the second complex here one methyl group here one methyl group in third complex uh, two methyl groups two methyl groups okay now here and um, let us check the their uh, acidic constant values now here it is 3.2 into 10 to the power uh, like a uh, 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 now the second reaction is 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 second inverse okay now here also second inverse now here it is a uh, 42 into 10 to the power minus 5 second inverse okay now here rate of acid hydrolysis increases from first to third rate of acid hydrolysis increases from first to third now when it is increasing let us observe now here there is no steric eroding but it's shown the lesser one lesser uh, acid hydrolysis reaction okay now here somewhat steric eroding it's shown the more reactive towards the first one now here it having the bulkier compound but it's shown the more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis okay that will happen in case of a more substituted one will give the more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis the final thing is a more substituted compound will give the more reactive towards the acid hydrolysis okay these five these five factors will uh, will explain the acid hydrolysis which follows the dissociative mechanism okay now if it is possible i'll make the another video on acid hydrolysis sometimes they are given in the uh, previous year csr and net and uh, gate questions okay so such type of questions uh, let uh, for example so some of the like uh, presence of pi donor ligands in if inert ligand is pi donor if inert ligand is pi acceptor now this one is more reactive or uh, trans one more reactive or cis, uh, cis and trans which one uh, readily participated in the acid hydrolysis reaction such type of questions accepted in uh, like previous csr as well as gate questions so that's why if it is possible i'll make the another video on acid hydrolysis okay thank you for watching